you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll stop it. All right, thank you guys very much, and welcome uh, again to the John Welch Show. I'm your host, uh, Joe Tate, and tonight we got a lot of really, really special things going on tonight. Tonight's episode is brought to you by and produced by the little-known but awesome Franciscan Film Club. So give it up for them. Okay, all right, okay, thanks to the Franciscan Film Club. You know, Franciscan Film Club, they're, uh, they're that kind of thing that... You know when you go to an ice cream shop and you have that favorite flavor of ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, but there's always that one flavor of ice cream that you really want to try, be it coffee or pecan or something like that, you know, but you never actually try it. That's Franciscan Film Club. You know it might be awesome, but you still don't try it because you're too scared of what might happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, tonight, folks, we got a really great show for you. we got a musical guest, uh, Roca. Yeah, they're here in the building. Uh, we all know a lot of their stuff, Really, some really great tracks they're going to play for us tonight. We also have a lot of great skits featuring some of our new cast members, including Dom Tardano. Give it up for him. Okay. All right. And be sure to see Dom in the upcoming movie, Life of Welch, coming out next summer. It's a great film. You're all going to want to go see it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So, uh... Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have our first skit now. Uh, this features Dom Tardano as a leading character and uh, yours truly. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, this skit is called Cups. Take it away. And this week's forecast, Monday we have a high of 72 with a 48 percent chance of rain. Right, mid-70s rest of the Dude, can I have some comps? Not really. Thanks, dude. I love comps, dude. So you want some milk? No. I have a test today. Dude, I love this song, man. It's a great song. This song's sick. Dude, check it out. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I can do this, dude. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. You don't even know. I know I can do it. Dude, I know. Am I doing something wrong? Is there something wrong that I'm... No, dude, you don't know how to do it. Dude, that's terrible. Give me your cup! <laughs> no! You just broke that cup. I'm not gonna give you my cup. Um, you're always trying to control me. You, you always think stupid. that you know everything. You think you know everything about life. Well, oh. you don't even. You can't even do the dishes or clean a room. You can't even clean the room in the morning because you're not. You think you're some kind of control animal, mom boy, mom animal guy. Watch this. Why <laughs> 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 can't I do it anymore? All right, dude. I gotta go to class anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, Roca. Do I got a few to do? Do I got hold of it? Let me feel sad at you. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Could I step past the orbit of my emotions? Could I be free from the messing with my mind? Is it safe to say that you'd like me to see the truth? You say okay. You step away or towards everything. Every single time it holds a percentage of my mind in a choice, and I want to.
lose this old fight with emotions But that's cause I'm fighting alone Not with the choirs of the angels singing a song oh, oh. And if I die I will be free Wildly cast aside And I know that I will live forever Step past the orbit of my emotions Could I be free from the messing with my mind? Is it safe to say that you'd like me to see the truth and say okay? Step away or towards everything Could I step past the orbit of my emotions? Could I be free from the messing with my mind? Is it safe to say that you like me to see the truth and say okay? Step away or towards everything. Step away or towards everything. Step away or towards everything. gentlemen again that was Roca uh, performing their song step away or towards everything and uh, now Roca also has an album uh, coming out and I think it's on iTunes it is it's on iTunes already it's uh, their self-titled album called Roca R-O-C-A and uh, that's on iTunes recommend that you definitely go out and get that right away they're a really really great band so uh, next up we have another great little skit from the Franciscan University Film Club. And uh, now, they came up with this skit based on some of the things, the crazy shenanigans that go on in their television lab. Uh, and as such, this skit is titled The Lab. And it stars Lex Judge and an assortment of other great characters that you'll soon grow to love. Enjoy. <laughs> My name's Lex, I'm the lab assistant, well, the lab manager for our TV editing lab. It's, it's an okay job. Um, it, it has its perks, but uh, it definitely has its downsides too. <laughs> What's up, lab nerd? Doing a bunch of lab nerd things? Yeah. <laughs> You're such a nerd, a lab nerd. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I get a lot of that type of thing. He comes in at least a couple times a day and says stuff like that. I, uh, I don't get a lot of respect. So, my name's Chris. I really like using the lab and stuff, but that kid Lex, man, I just, I just don't know what I did to him. He just always is such a jerk. There's some kids who come in that really don't know what they're doing. And of course, it's my job to help them. Lex? Lex? Lex, Lex, Lex! Lex, I don't know how to do this! Lex! Lex. Brianna, you have to turn the computer on before you can use it. Lex? <laughs> He's so stupid. I have to help him out all the time. She needs Lex. a lot of help. X. L-E-X. You know, the thing is, we have a lot of expensive equipment in here, and, you know, with that comes a lot of rules, and they're, they're pretty basic rules, but some people just have a really hard time following them. Oh, and then there's Food Guy. I don't even know his name. I don't even know if he goes to school here, but he's always in the lab and he's always eating something. It started with just a bag of Doritos, which is technically against the rules, but the dude looked really hungry, so I thought I'd let it slide. Big mistake. Eventually, he started bringing in drinks. Then he started bringing his own food. And then, worst of all, he started preparing his own food. Like, I don't even, I don't even, like, I, 
it doesn't make any sense to me how someone can think that's totally acceptable to bring pots and pans and cooking utensils into a television lab. But the biggest thing that really grinds my gears, the other lab assistant. He thinks he's Michael Bay and he brings in all of his own equipment that we already have in the lab and he doesn't even know how to use any of it. I'm John, I'm the lab assistant. Uh, I pretty much run the show around here. I mean, nobody else really knows anything at all. And like one thing that most people don't know about me is that I really look up to Michael Bay. I like idolize him. He is, he's pretty amazing. Another lab assistant? Uh, I think there's one other guy, his name's like Rex or something, but he's kind of like depressed all the time. He really just brings people down whenever they're around him. I mean, like, I always just lift everybody up, but he is just a downer. So yeah, I mean, I guess the job does have a lot of downsides. Sometimes I work so much that I have to stay really late. Even though I catch a lot of grief from my coworkers and the people who come in here, I really think my boss appreciates the work that I do. Lex, I don't even know. Um, he wanted a job. I didn't want to make a lot of phone calls. Yeah, I mean, he does a good job. He's not, you know, the other lab assistant, but he does pretty good for being Lex. Everybody's got a favorite ice cream. I like Superman ice cream and the pink swirls and the whatever's, you know, you know, you go to that, it's your go-to ice cream. So there's Superman ice cream and then there's Lex. He's, he's you know, he's not your favorite ice cream. Yeah, sometimes it gets pretty tough. But hey, I guess at the end of the day, it's all worth it because, because I get paid less than minimum wage and get to kind of learn how to further my career. That's it for the John Welch Show. Special thanks to Roca and the Franciscan University Film Club for putting this on for us tonight. Thank you, and have a good night.